keep it. Let's keep it. I'm sure we can make it. Please, someone tell me who thought that holding their breath underwater was a good idea. Don't worry, Liver. I have everything under control. Are you sure about that? Of course not. I can't hold on anymore. I just... <sighs> hey, buddy! Why did you do that? How will we get to the three-minute mark without air? Brain, we need to give up. What? No, you always do the same... Oh, we need to give up. It won't happen this time. No, no. I don't want to be a party pooper, but if we don't get out of the water immediately, we could get some serious problems. Within the first few seconds of submersion, the body starts using the available oxygen in the bloodstream. But as time progresses, the oxygen levels in the body decrease, leading to hypoxia. And you already know what that is. Hypoxia again? Buddies, I really need help here. Left lung is not responding anymore. He'll be fine once we get out. That's not the worst part. And what is that? The brain is highly sensitive to a lack of oxygen, and as oxygen levels drop, cognitive function is impaired, eventually resulting in unconsciousness. What? Brain, did you hear that? We don't have much time. Maybe it's too late. We are done. So is there anything we can do? Well, if a person loses consciousness while submerged, they're at risk of inhaling water into their lungs, leading to drowning. <gasps> okay, seems that there's no way out today. Uh, don't try this at home.